Are you looking to make miniature tiles for your dollhouse or miniature projects? Then watch this video and I'll show you how to make realistic looking ceramic tiles from very minimal supplies. So as you know this is another episode in my dollhouse makeover and um, today we are going to be tackling the kitchen. We haven't done that much on this recently. As you can see the dust is gathering on the fl top floor and we still have a pig in blanket from uh, Christmas decorations so it's time to get started on the kitchen and we're planning on making a tiled backsplash in this episode but before that we actually have a Bugsy interruption who's come and giving me something ah hello you say hello to everyone oh it's a tubey you eat your tubey it gives us a cardboard for my project oh thank you thank you I'm gonna use that okay So this is the kitchen unit that I'm going to be working from. I also have a tutorial on this if you want to check it out. Um, but these are the supplies you're going to need. You're going to need some cardboard or something to place your tiles onto. You can obviously do this straight onto the surface that you're working from, so it's not necessary if that's the case. Some scissors and some glue. I'm using PVA glue stick or hot glue you can use. And some sellotape. And of course you're going to need your tiles. This is the most important piece of it because this is how they're going to look realistic. So you need some printouts. These are all of the tiles that I'm going to be using. This one is currently called the blue floral tile. All of these tiles that you see here and more are available in my shop. I've been sizing these down um, quite a lot recently and adding a lot more in my shop so I've been doing floor tiles like this one which is the terracotta tile which I actually kind of might swap out because I quite like the warm tile on this floor and as you can see they do look really realistic as they have the grout lines in and some of the 3d texture as well um, these can all be interchanged into floor wall tiles however you wish um, some of them have the grout details in some of them don't as you can see, some of these are a lot smaller than the others, but that's because I just scaled these down further for my own house because my scale is a little bit weird in my house, so I thought I would be look better smaller, but the ones you'll be getting are more this size. There are so many options here to more modern, Mediterranean and vintage styles. I've also been sizing down a lot of um, William Morris Victorian tiles which are great for period properties and designs if you want something uh, realistic to the time frame so I have those if you are interested in those I will link them all down below so with number one for the ways of doing these tiles is simply just printing them out and sticking them onto your desired surface. This is really easy and um, because all the details are already in there you don't really have to grout with some of them. So this is the simplest way to do this and as you can see it looks really good and um, yeah this is just the number one way to do it. Um, for the second way we're going to be making it even more realistic. The second way is just to do the same thing again, but adding the tape over the top of it. This will create that glossy ceramic finish that tiles have and will give it that extra level of realism. Of course, if you want a more matte tile, just don't do this step. And I'm just going to cut it out and make sure that you put the tape over the edges of the uh, squares and the tiles so that you don't cut short on the gloss finish. So that's just how it looks and you can do this with all of the different tiles and it looks just great. Really simple, easy makeover to do and takes really no time at all. So on to number three. This way is going to create the most realistic texture uh, of the tiles. So you want to just repeat those last steps of number two, but instead of leaving it all in one strip, we're going to cut out the tiles individually. Now I've done this on cardboard, but you could easily do this on something a little bit thinner or um, foam board or something like that. 
and I'm just going to squish them down a little bit and just trim the excess edges to neaten them all up. Now once you have your single tiles all ready to go, it is time to grout them. But before we need to do that, we need to place them onto your surface or whatever you're going to be placing the tiles onto so we can space them all out. I recommend using hot glue for this as PVA glue is just not going to cut it, especially when you go to grout them, it will probably move them about. So hot glue, placing them all in a very even line and just adding that little grout gaps around it. So this is something how it should look. Excuse my messy work, this isn't the most even job, but this is just to show you how you could do this. So once you have your uh, tiles all in place, it's time to grout. Now I would just use a, just a regular wall grout for this, but because I don't have anything and I just want to show you quickly, I'm going to experiment with a bit of toothpaste. I know it's a little bit weird, but I have a feeling it might work. So I'm just going to smush it into the grout lines just to fill up the space and we're going to wipe off the excess and then dry it with a hairdryer and see how it turns out. This should work, it's a little bit thin, thinner than grout so you could maybe mix in some baking powder or something to create more of a uh, thicker consistency into this but it did work out but would I use it for more projects? Probably not. But for this little experiment, just to show you how it looks, it worked out fine. So yeah, that's how these tiles look. And onto the next one on how to do it. This is really for if you don't have any grout at all or you want a thinner result with the tiles. So I just covered over sellotape onto the printout, straight onto the printout, and then I will cut them out instead of placing them onto cardboard. Um, this is just going to create a thinner result if you don't want too much depth or anything like that. So I'm just going to make them glossy. I'm going to trim them out to create individual tiles like this. And then we are just going to create the background. This will be the grout. So I'm just placing some uh, plain white paper on the back and then I'm just going to organize the tiles over the top leaving a gap of white all the way through. Um, because I have taped the tile pieces and um, didn't tape the paper you will get this glossy to matte result with the grout, well paper grout underneath which makes it more realistic, but if you wanted to, you could just organize them all on the paper and tape over the whole thing, if that's something that you're not too bothered about. So with those four ways of tile applications, let's get on to my makeover. So um, as you know from the beginning, I'm going to be using this blue flower tile. Um, I just cut out a strip. I'm going for kind of three um, down, so that is pretty suitable for my space. I've attached it to the cardboard and I'm just going to tape over the entire thing. After cutting it out, um, I have another little tip to create a really realistic effect. If you score where the grout lines are with a blunt object, you will get that kind of beveled edge that in, is on tiles and you can definitely feel it to the touch and in certain lights, the light will bounce off it slightly differently and just gives it a more lived in look. So definitely use that tip if you want a realistic tile effect. So after that, now I just measured my space and applied it. Um, this is how it was looking in the house and I had to cut out the space for the window in the back. I just made a little score line just to make sure I was getting it straight and level and then just glued it on with hot glue. This is a little bit tricky this because if I had known I might have done the house separately, 
um, taken it apart and done things like that because it is quite tricky to get into the back corners of the house. But then I just um, popped all the furniture in, made sure it was all level and correct and there we have it. I also added a little kind of beading across the top which I probably paint with whatever wall colour I'm doing just to um, just to even off the edges of the cardboard because they looked a little bit untidy. Um, but if you have any grout around, grout would fix that issue, no problem. I would just apply it before applying it into the house and sand it off. And then you've got your tiles ready to go. Or you can just tile all the way up the wall and have no um, edge lines or anything. So that's how my tiled space looks. Um, so to recap, we have the four ways, which is just plain, stick on and go. And we also have the stick on and go with the sellotape over the top to give that glossy finish. Then the style which is cut out and stuck on with the grout paper background. And of course the style in which you cut them out all separately from cardboard and then grout the whole thing. So these are my four ways that you could work with these printout tile sheets. And I really hope this was useful to you if you're in the tiling stage of your miniature project and want to make something easy, quick and that looks realistic and really effective. So if any of these tile designs take your fancy, please go and visit my Etsy shop which I'll have linked below. I have lots of single packs uh, that are downloadable that you can just buy if you're interested in one. I also have multiple uh, tile packs that have all these designs. I have floor tiles and wallpaper designs in many different styles so you can get something that will suit your miniature space. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.